Greetings, Fright fans, and welcome into the Web Lab. I'm Dr. Gang Green. Got the, the lab all decorated here for Christmas because we're doing something a little bit different and special here for this holiday season. Now, last year we did a 13 Days of Christmas horror countdown where we counted down 13 movies. Uh, they were all Christmas horror movies for the 13 days leading up to Christmas. And of course, I just finished my Halloween marathon of movies. So this year I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm not going to do 13 days of Christmas again. This year instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to do four different films, one a week every Saturday leading up to Christmas. That way you guys can kind of watch these along with me and uh, kind of play along with the, the Christmas horror goodness here. But uh, we're going to go ahead and start this countdown tonight. I thought that I'd kick it off with a film that's a bit of a classic something that's been around since the 1901 actually was the very first one uh, that is a christmas carol now there have been numerous film and television adaptations of the charles dickens novella the most famous of which are the 1938 version starring reginald owen the 1951 version starring alistair sim the 1970 version starring Albert Finney, and the 1984 made-for-TV version starring George C. Scott, which is probably my all-around favorite. But the version I want to talk about is an animated short feature that aired on ABC TV on December 21st, 1971. It features Alistair Sim reprising his role of Scrooge from the 1951 film. It is a compact version of the story, clocking in at just 28 minutes, trimmed neatly down to just the essentials. But all the main elements of the source material are there. The mean and miserly Scrooge, Bob Cratchit and his family, including Tiny Tim, Scrooge's unscrupulous business partner, Jacob Marley, and the three Christmas spirits that visit Scrooge. In addition, there are some nice touches that don't always appear in other versions, including the two goblin-like children, Ignorance and Want, under the skirt of the ghost of Christmas present, as well as the narrator, voiced by Michael Redgrave. The character of Marley is played by Michael Horndon, who also played that role in the 51 version opposite Sim. The film was directed by Richard Williams, who would go on to a long and varied career in Hollywood, including serving as animation director for Who Framed Roger Rabbit. His son Alex provided the voice of Tiny Tim in this production. The film was executive produced by animation legend Chuck Jones. The animation itself is a striking, hand-drawn style featuring sweeping movements and transitions. There is some downright scary imagery presented in this film, and overall it's a darker rendition of the film than some versions. This film was a huge success and was even released in theaters and went on to win an Academy Award for Best Animated Short Film. If you want a quick and entertaining Christmas film to watch this year, this is the one for you. This is a really great version of it. Like I said, my favorite version is probably the George C. Scott film, but this is a really good one too. Nice, compact, and short, visually striking animation style. This is a really good film. Check it out. It's here on YouTube. I'll put a link at the end of this video. So that's it for week one. Be sure and join me back here next week for more holiday treats from Dr. Gang Green's goodie bag. Until then, Dr. Gang Green saying stay mad and scary Christmas. <laughs>